Hello, it's your associate pastor, Father Michael Lampy, coming to you again with a video reflection, sharing with you um, the Word of God in the best ways that we can during these difficult times where we cannot gather as a uh, faith community in church. Um, today, I'd like to share with you a reflection upon our readings for the day. Uh, our first reading coming from Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 1, 5 through 9, as well as our gospel passage coming from Matthew chapter 5, verses 17 to 19. In these passages, there's an emphasis on the commandments of God and keeping these commandments. But why does God give us commandments in the first place? Why can't we just do whatever we want? Well, God knows how he made us, how he created us, and he loves us, and he wants what's best for us. And just like any loving father who wants to take care of his children, he tells his children what they should and should not do. For example, a father would tell his child not to run into the street because that's dangerous. Um, a father would tell his child not to put their hand on the stove because if the stove is on, they could get their hand burned. Um, we are given commandments to help us here on our journey on earth, on our way towards being with God forever in heaven. And God gives us these commandments to help us out of love for us, to take care of us. And as important as that is, what I would like to focus on in particular comes from our first reading. It's the very last part of our passage. It says from the book of Deuteronomy, However, take care and be earnestly on your guard, not to forget the things which your own eyes have seen, nor let them slip from your memory as long as you live, but teach them to your children and to your children's children. This particular passage from Deuteronomy uh, really stuck out to me, given our current situation. It can be easy for us to say, well, there's no mass, there's no activities going on that we can go to at the church, so we're just gonna, you know, kind of give up on the faith and do whatever. Um, we are being exhorted not to forget the teachings of the church, not to forget our devotional practices, not to forget our public worship of God, uh, which is the Mass. Even though we're not able to participate in that at this time as a faith community, we are still called to share the faith with each other and with the following generations. So during this time of difficulty, it would be good for us to focus on uh, building up the domestic church. The domestic church being, of course, the family. Gathering together as a family in the home and praying together, maybe with the scriptures, uh, the daily readings that are given to us, uh, maybe listening to um, reading reflections, such as this one, uh, or perhaps doing devotional practices. There are many devotions out there that families can pray together. Uh, for example, the Stations of the Cross, um, as well as the Rosary, and um, the Chaplet of Divine Mercy. We do have a number of resources for devotionals on our website, asc.church. If you go to our worship tab and scroll down, you'll see devotions, and you can go to our devotional page, which can help you um, pray some of these devotions that I've mentioned as a family and grow closer to God as a family in the domestic church while we are temporarily unable to meet as a parish family and as our parish um, church. So I encourage all of you to consider how you can build up the domestic church and perpetuate our faith, sharing it with each other, growing closer to God together. Thank you and God bless.